Hi, this is Charles Cecilia coming to you live from New York City Comic Con 2018. I'm here with Brian. Hi, Charles. How are you? How's it going? It's a good morning. I have my coffee. <laughs> so I thought today that we can talk about this new line that you're launching for the fan base, yeah. the sixth scale, yeah. and we're seeing some amazing pieces being presented here Thank today. You. And I thought we can talk about the, we can start with the Aquaman. Yes. So uh, who sculpted this beautiful piece? So this piece is sculpted by Victor Hugo Sosa, and he did an excellent job in this. Um, and just to let you guys know, uh, it comes with two, uh, two different kinds of portraits. Uh, the calmer Arthur Curry portrait. Yes, the calmer one, and then the one, the more rugged with his beard one look. Yeah, yeah more intense. More intense, yeah. Oh, so it's a nice dynamic between the two, so the plays tell a different story. Yeah, and, and, uh, oh, and one thing is, is this, this line right now we're doing is been on the Rebirth uh, costumes. So some people will be asking, why, why uh, didn't we do a version with uh, Aquaman ha ha you know, having the hands and the harpoon? There's a version of that, but that's not in Rebirth. So in Rebirth, this is actually the style guide that we're following, and that's the Aquaman that uh, we did, yeah. Well, I really like this seaport concept that you were using for this one. It's something we haven't seen before. So um, how did that come around? What, are you basing it basically on the comics, or were you going all original on it? Everything, usually, um, we don't usually base stuff on, on cover art. If you look at all our products, it's always been designed from scratch. Um, so the thing about the one six scale is that we didn't, you know, we we felt that one six scale is going to be the new thing because it's smaller, it's easier to display, easier to, to ship, and and more affordable as well. So when when we thought about one six, we thought, hey, but there's a little bit of space we could do to, to be more creative, and we could show them in their using of their abilities. Uh, so there's a little bit more story behind their their character, their background. So for Aquaman. We, we thought a long time for it. Is he swimming? Is he like doing a, a museum post? We decided to make him on a gig ass. Um, well, what, I'm, what I'm noticing here is you're telling me something about Aquaman that is distinct to Aquaman. Yeah. So that's great. So I, I want to move along to uh, The Flash. Yeah, The Flash. Now, The Flash, I'll have to say right now, this, this is an unbelievable looking piece. I call it for me anyway, the killer piece of 2018 in terms of six scale. This is gorgeous. Thank you. So yeah. how did you come about with this idea for this? Uh, the okay. Speed Force. Yeah, this this was kind of a huge debate in, in the studios. We had a lot of um, um, arguments or I would say creative brainstorming. Basically, when we came out to, to think about doing Flash, uh, everybody was thinking, well, the Flash is always running in all statues, right? And how do we make it different? Distinct so, to XM. Really. Yeah, yeah, because he's just going to be running. And so we thought, okay, how about showing him at his full speed? And his full speed will be him breaking the, the, the Speed Force barrier. Wow. And we did a bit of comics reading and realized that he, he uses a cosmic treadmill to help him achieve that speed. So I just want to uh, say that this is a prototype. So during the transport here, there's some kind of warping, so we couldn't show the full setup. So there's a piece missing from the cosmic treadmill. There's supposed to be a, a device beside that shows like you know the speed and how much it's traveling and all that. But we have to take that out for now. Well, I think this piece looks absolutely amazing. You, you just see also like you know the speed lightning yeah, effects so, and so, so that whole blue swirl is about him actually running so fast. He's, he's getting into different dimensions, and that's that's how, kind of how fast he is. And no one else in the whole DC universe can be as fast as this. Yeah. Let's move, let's move along to the Joker. Now, you know, uh, when I was looking at this piece, the first thing that came to my mind is you're bringing fun back to set statues. And over here, you know, you see who the Joker really is, which is the prankster. His his weaponry always had like a gag to it. Yeah. Right, you know, uh, it says ha ha on the canister and yeah. the gas canister, the joking gas. gas. Yeah. You know, the laughing gas, I should say. And you have like, you know, these little... I, I guess these killer robots or killing laughing mouths or whatever. Yeah, they're like these little, uh, we'll call it like creatures that, that, you know, you wind them up and it just, just chatterbox going around. And they're all each holding different um, dangerous weapons like TNT and bombs. Yeah. And once again, you know, like I was saying here, like things that are distinct to the character. You know, the speed force, the um, the seahorse, you know, yeah. these these vehicles that only the Joker would drive Only or ride. he will come up with crazy you know, stuff like so, that. Yeah. You know, uh, that's one of the things I really love about what you guys did this time around yeah. with the six scale. Because once again, it distinguishes you from what anybody and everybody else is doing. So let's move along to yeah. um, the... Um, Wonder Woman, yeah. and this is sculpted by Mr. Martin Augusta. Martin Augusta, he's like my idol. Martin, we love you. We, we love miss you. you. Like, why aren't you here? Yeah, he's my favorite artist of all. You know why? Because I see him across the table every morning, 
I, I, you know, every morning I go to him and I do this to him. I say, yeah. Martin, show me something good. And That's he always fine. never feels dis disappointed. He's like the best. Well, we should say Martin also sculpted the absolutely divine Poison Ivy. Yes, the Poison Ivy, uh, Catwoman. You know, he's, um, he's after my own heart. I, I love you, Martin. Yeah, Martin, you see the huge big plug? That means an interview is coming your way and you can't get away. So yeah. let's start with the Wonder Woman. I see that you have two different concepts. You have the Warrior Amazon version and yeah. you also have the just classic the, the version. classic version. Yeah. I really like that you use the cape. We don't see the cape nearly often enough when people are sculpting um, Wonder Woman. Yeah. So tell us uh, a little bit about this design. Oh, before I say that, one of the things, again, that is distinct to the character is that we're in uh, Paradise Island, right? Paradise Island. So we're in Paradise and Island. You can notice um, closely at the base, you actually see um, a statue, kind of like a, um, a, st a broken statue of Ares, the one that she's always fighting, right? Yeah, so so it's, it shows that God of War. The God of War. So she's always championing, uh, defending the world from, from chaos and war. So that's that's kind of the set setup about this piece, yeah. One of the things I have to say is that the portraits, the portraits are absolutely, can you just hang on to that? Yeah, the portraits are, ooh, it's okay. That's a piece. Uh, that's right. It's a separate piece, but. Yeah. yeah, so the portraits are absolutely beautiful. I'm totally mm, Yes. All right, so let's go to the last one, the last six scale piece, which is the Superman, the Man of Steel. And once again, another thing that's distinct to the piece is the Fortress of Solitude. It is, it is. You know, and it, you know, it even all kind of looks like what we saw in the film, which was pretty cool. Yeah, I see Spike by that. So uh, this is the Rebirth costume? The Rebirth costume. Um, and, uh, the, well, the, the Superman is one of the most, uh, I guess, legendary characters of the DC, iconic characters. and. The, uh, yeah, recognized worldwide, and, and for us it was about, uh, it's like similar to the whole theme of the whole one six scale. We want to show a little bit of his background, his heritage, and a little bit of his powers. So, rather than him showing super strength, we show him in his, you know, his um, kind of floating in mid air, which is he's a man that he, he, we, he made us believe that man could fly in a way. So that's why, and uh, yeah, the tribute to the movies, uh, Christopher Reeves movies was the, um, the, um, the crystals and stuff. So this is kind of the engineering that helps to keep him up. Yeah. One of the things I like about this piece is like you were saying, you're trying to show his strength. Yeah. But over here, you really notice this is a force to be reckoned with. You know, don't mess with me, Superman. Yeah. And in this portrait, we see the enraged Superman. I take it he's using his heat vision. Yeah, this is yeah. the one with enraged right. heat vision. And you, and you have like the normal portrait where yeah, he kind of looks like that. Yeah, he looks more like me. In the and yes, yeah. so it's, you know, twins separated at birth. I'm yeah, it here. is. I need to, you know, do the, the ass thing on my head. You know, yeah. yeah. One of the things uh, I also wanted to add about this piece is not only does he seem formidable, but it, it isn't, you weren't really brave on it. You know, most of the time when we see Superman, it's got like this Mr. Mr. Rogers neighborhood appeal to it. Like, you know, happy-go-lucky, mom loves him. But over here, you know, I'm not saying like he looks like a villain, but he looks like, you know, he's he's out to straighten some somebody out. Yeah, he's, yeah he's, he's like, you don't want to mess with him. And uh, But that's, that's the thing, that's the two sides, right? So that's why we created the two portraits. One is the more kind of like the Boy Scout look, I'm here to protect you all. And the other one is like, come on, don't mess with my planet, you know, stop looking. And I really like the levitating effect that you have here from certain angles. Yeah. It actually looks like he's flying. Yeah. Right? Does. And that is really probably going to be the display piece, uh, the display style. So one of the things I want to ask you is what are generally going to be the price tags and the addition sizes for these six scale pieces? Right. So as we've all our one six scale DC stuff, uh, they are maxed and kept out at 1002 but they're made to order, so it doesn't mean they'll all go to 1,002. It could be 6, 700, 800. Made to, order. made to order. Made to order, yeah. And we're talking international license? International license. And available at pre-order at New York City Comic Con 2018? Available here, <laughs> right here, yes. And oh yeah, and you're talking about the, um, I think the price. So the price point is uh, between I think 450 to 480 USD, and it includes uh, the shipping from Asia to uh, USA already. 480 including shipping? Including shipping Ooh. to to to. Uh, to USA, GFX, but then there's going to be nominal kind of uh, local dos domestic shipping, which is, you know, very, very, very fair. Okay, well, look, I want to thank you very much for the time you're taking with us. And uh, we hope to spend some more time with you over the coming days. And we'll, we'll actually have a few more to interview, but we're going to stop for a little while. All right. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you, Charles. All right.